So, how does a software bug, pure information, turn into twisted metal and broken bones? The bridge is the actuator. Any device that turns electrical signals into mechanical action, like motors, valves, and pumps. The computer in your car sends commands to actuators that steer, apply brakes, adjust engine power, and even control how hard seat belts clamp in a crash. If malicious code, or just a programming error, tells the brake actuator to release instead of clamp at the wrong time, the physical outcome is simple. Less friction between pads and discs, less deceleration, more kinetic energy carried into whatever is in front of you. In some documented defects, software didn't completely fail because of subtle mistiming, making components run hotter or wear faster. The metal didn't know about the bug. It only knew that forces and temperatures were outside the range it was designed to survive. Modern attacks often aim at the links in this chain, not just the obvious locks. A supply chain attack means compromising parts or software before they even reach the final manufacturer. Instead of trying to hack your car over the air, someone might insert altered firmware, a low-level software inside a chip at a small subcontractor's factory. 